hi what's up youtube my name is adimola and in this video we are going to be creating basic frequency separation action that you could use for your next picture that you want to edit instead of creating different layer in every picture which is usually stressful that with one click you can just be using to retouch your images you'll be able to download the free action in my link below let's get into the video guys so the first thing you want to do is come over to windows action and you have your action box over here now we have this background layer here right then the first thing you want to do is come over to this action box then click on this plus layer to create a new action so i'm just going to name this fqx sorry x fqs then i'm just going to change the color to red that's if you want and i'm going to press record so once i have this recording right here i'm just going to start creating the layer for the frequency separation so this is what you are going to do you are going to create two layers which is command j command j then what you are going to do next is to name the layer so i'm going to name this i f then name this the low f not to get us confused now this is easy so the first thing i'm going to do is off this top layer that's the if layer so once i switch this off i'm just going to come to the low frequency layer over here then come over to filter blur and gaussian blur now to understand this gaussian blur and how it works on pictures you can check my previous videos where i talked about frequency separation you're going to understand on how this works so i'm not going to be explaining that here but for this image i'm going to be using six and i'm just going to click ok now why you click this ok don't forget to come over to the gaussian blur here and put a stop why is that so that you can also you can also correct you can also correct the gaussian blur anytime you play the action so anytime you are playing the action for a new picture you can correct the gaussian blur to according to the image you are retouching which is actually easy that's why we toggle that on then i'm going to come over to my high frequency separation then turn it on once i'm here i'm going to come to image and apply image which is actually easy so while retouching we have two types of common image that we use which is actually the 16 bit and the 8 bit image so for an 8 bit image here are the settings we are going to use so for the layer i'm going to be using the low frequency layer then i want invert then the blending mode will be subtract scale will be on two and offset will be 128 this is it and i'm going to click ok that's for 8-bit image but for 16-bit image which we're actually using this and this is this is a 16-bit image so i'm going to show you the settings for 16-bit image you are going to invert leave this the same leave this the same and your blending mode will change to hard your offset should be on zero scale should be on two which is perfect opacity should be on 100 percent and i'm just going to click ok for a 16 bit image so i'm going to come to my high frequency layer here then come over to my blending mode and go to linear light this is linear light i'm going to click it good then what am i going to do next is to group it so click on the first layer then come over to the second layer shift and click and just group it together and name it my f q s frequency separation so this is your layer here once you have this just click on pause don't forget to subscribe like and share and send to others everything is set for you everything is over here this is it here so you can use it anytime on any image if you want to use it so let's just test it out and how it works so you guys will see it so i'm just going to delete this then come over to my background and click on this fqs that's the new action we just created and you guys if you want a more advanced frequency separation action i have it over here which i'm just going to be showing you now this is my advanced frequency separation action i used on a daily basis if you need it it's on my website you can go over there and get yours it's quite cheap it's not free and you can also get it so let's go back to testing our frequency separation layer so i'm just going to come over to this place and click on play once we play it it will bring out your gaussian blur so this is where i said you can correct this according to any image you are using so i'm just going to leave it on six because it's the same image and this is what we're going to use and i'm going to click ok once you click ok everything will come over to this place all you have to do is just open the group layer and off your high frequency layer and just blend over here if you want to i'm going to come to my blending and just start retouching 
that's how it works so i don't have to be creating new layer for every picture i'm about to retouch which is actually stressful what i just need to do is play it over here and i'm good so that's how it works thank you and see you in my next video and my next tutorial god bless you bye